Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel. Today, we're going to start a new run, a new challenge suggested by you guys. Uh, this one suggested by JK Heroic. It's the Doctor Challenge, and many of you wanted to see that one. Uh, this one includes Ted and Mary Jane. I am allowed to bring two cans of soup, three bottled water, a gas mask, a med kit, a box spray, a handbook, a radio, and an axe. Uh, very, very Doctor-like uh, items. Those are mostly used for the Doctor events. You can make another med kit with the box spray, and so forth. And, of course, the Boy Scout handbook is just great in general um the boy scout handbook we're gonna need that to make the box spray into um a med kit so let's see if i can grab all of these items this is the hard difficulty tsar bomba and it's tricky to get all of these items in a regular run anyway but this time we are under a little, a little bit of more pressure oh no okay wait i got one can of food gotta gotta look out for that got the gas mask and the med kit wonderful um two cans of soup Three cans of soup, and now the rest is water that we're allowed to bring. Uh, one, two, and one more. Where is it? the third one? There's a, there's my third one. I want that. Uh, did I already bring Mary Jane? Of course not. Let's grab her. Very important. The radio. We kind of want that to just stay in contact with the military and even have a chance to get rescued. The Boy Scout handbook. Uh, give me that, Timmy. Thank you, Timmy. Uh, there's a rifle in the box spray. I can see it, and I need those things. The flashlight. Nope, not allowed to bring that. I, I really hope I get all the items that we need. I'm just making sure that I didn't forget anything. Two cans of... Am I allowed to bring the axe? Yes, I'm allowed to bring the axe. I'll grab it, and can we make it in the last second? Yes, we can. Woo! Ah, close call. Really close call there. But I think we got all the items. Let's let's take let's take an inventory and make sure we got all we need for the doctor challenge. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Okay, let's go for the list. Mary Jane, Ted, yes. Uh two cans of soup, three bottles of water, a gas mask. Mm-hmm. A med kit. Mm-hmm. Box spray. Mm-hmm. Boy Scout handbook, radio, and axe. I'm actually not allowed to use the rifle. I brought a rifle. I'm not allowed to use it. Ah, why did I grab a rifle? All right, here's the thing. We have a rifle in our shelter. I will throw it out when the military asks me, and I will not use it. This this rifle is not automatically used. But, yeah, I, I will not be able to use it, even though if it's hanging here. What a shame. It's just de decorative. Just imagine it being decorative. All right, at least the two of us made it, if only we had a smaller house. And less slippery floors. Yeah, yeah, you, you keep believing that. Okay, so... Uh, we don't need to feed anyone right now. We can pretty much wait this out for a little bit. And I can send someone out. I could send Mary Jane out to scavenge food for us. Uh, which would probably be a good idea. We do have the gas mask, so we could heal her up. But I'm gonna wait a little bit. Not right away. And let's listen to the radio. Let's see if the military is out there and is going to save us. As they always promise. They always promise. They always promise. I don't know if they're actually going to come, but it would be, would be a good... Would be a really cool ending for a challenge. All right, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. Hmm, I would like some music. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink sometimes. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Not going to happen. All right, one of the cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea, but let's find out. I cannot use the rifle. I was not allowed to bring it, so guess we're going in without one. We're going in without a rifle, and I hope it doesn't bite us. Apparently, it was an empty room. Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever behind that door will have to stay there. Also, stacked some furniture against it just to be sure nothing in and uh, goes in and out. All right. That is what happens. See, we, we were fine having the rifle. We just are not doing too much. All right. We now thought we'd see, to live and see a living dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. Well, let's smack it to pieces with the Boy Scout book. Smash. Ted, smash. Good. Day five, it's time for water. That was close. The nest of those glowing bugs might have been more enough to drive us into the wasteland. Ugh. All right, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Ted looks like you got one foot on the grave. Here's your water, you sissies. Okay. Here we are still irradiated, I think. How much longer can we... We can actually sit us out for quite a bit. So I don't have the urge to go out right now. Just waiting a little. Maybe we will get the message that the radiation went down. Neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Big risk to our health. We do have a gas mess, so... That is a good thing. 
I love I would love to send Ted because there's always the options that Murray Jane would might become a mutant. Imagine that. Our little our little girl becoming a mutant. Um Mary Jane's diet could use food and Ted's stomach is rumbling. Got you covered. Got you covered. Okay, it's day seven. That's interesting. Like roughly day seven, day eight. Okay. Contamination is still strong. Scavenging might be deadly. Let's listen to the radio. A radio could help with getting information. I agree. Odd thing, I actually do not own an a, a radio. You know, in case of an emergency, when all the power went out, I would, I would, I would be screwed. I, I could not listen to a radio broadcast because I do not actually own one. That, 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 that worries me now. I'm getting paranoid playing this game. Oh my god, it's starting. All right, we get to able to get a weak signal. Tap into government emergency announcement. Guess what? Great news. To follow us, that is mostly gone. Ha! Good, we waited. Could we spare some water? Not yet, I think. You know what? We're, we're preparing an expedition. This is a good good news. Let's send Mary Jane out and let's listen to the radio, hoping for the military to come by and save our, well, little family or whatever is remaining of it, I would say. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. Yay! I don't know. They're coming for us sounds a little... can, can mean two things. It's, it's a little worrisome. <laughs> we need to wait patiently, and then they will kill us. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Ted likes to put one foot in the grave. Yada, 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 yada. Who should go outside? Um, Mary Jane should go outside. Absolutely. No question about that. It's the only thing that I can do. Man, there's, there's a lot of ways, yeah, to heal. Even if, if she breaks the gas mask, whatever. That's fine. <sighs> Ted got one foot on the grave. Okay. Teddy boy. Ted, 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 Ted. You need water. And the trash can is still getting full, so let's use the Boy Scout book to deal with that. I'm glad that it doesn't ruin the Boy Scout book. If there's, there's, there's no chance. It's it's a fairly easy event. If you have the Boy Scout book, you don't need to worry about the cockroach is overtaking your shelter. Alright, the nest of these glowing bugs might have been more enough to drive us out into the wasteland. Uh, Ted seems to be doing alright. Alright. Let's hope we don't get the spider event right now. It is, there's always this part of me that really believes that the game is waiting for you to do a certain thing and then it taunts you like, Oh, oh what? You just used your box spray for a box? Well, you could have made a med kit that you needed so much because I made someone sick. Huh, <laughs> what are the chances? It's, I'm, I'm getting very, very paranoid and suspicious of the game. All right, we're about to get some sleep when we had scratching coming from the door at first. It sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side trying to pry it open. We need to act. Cannot use the rifle, have to use the axe. Have to use the axe to send whoever is at the door, send them running. And we didn't lose the axe, so that's good. Good, good, good. Some axe action was enough to send those cards running. Bet your ass they will be back. Vermin like that are never long gone. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted should drink something soon. Here's some food. Water on day 15. We could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. And there goes another one. Damn it, we're getting flooded. Ha! Joke's on you. I only got a radio. So nothing's lost. One of these rare moments where I'm glad that I don't have a map or anything else. Oh, Mary Jane, are you sick? Let me be a doctor because this is the doctor challenge. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. It turned out that calling ambulance is not an option anymore. We reached the hospital. It is in ruins, but parts of it turned out to be still standing, more or less. We decided to go through the rubble and make the best of it. The canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soup. It looks like it was the only thing they fed their patients. Now we're 100% sure it's healthy. One can of soup. Very good, Mary Jane. There were plenty of bottles of liquid in the weir wards. Perks, I don't know. Water is water, and beggars can't be choosers. Mary Jane is quite hungry, contracted an illness, is really tired, and... Well, she's hungry. Okay, good. Let's give her some food. And does she need water? Nah. But she contracted an illness and I'm going to heal her. Yes, I'm going to heal her. Very good. Actually, I think ammunition would also be a good um, healing thing. Actually, because if you get... If, you, if everyone's sick and you get the event like, Oh, man, we're smelling. And then you rub the powder over you, you get, for whatever reason, you get healed. You're, you're not sick anymore. I don't know if that is intended or if that is a glitch or a bug. But that is what happens, so I guess that would also be a good addition to the challenge. Anyway, um, should we start preparing an expedition? Eh, nah, we're gonna wait a little bit. There's no reason to send our daughter out right away. Let's, 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 yeah, she looks good. A little tired, but good nonetheless. She's quite hungry. Water is what she needs most right now. 
Uh, wait, Ted, does Ted need food? Ted doesn't need food. No, he doesn't need food, but they both need water. So let's uh, supply him with that. Shiner boots and hoist a flag. The army's on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready and signal the aircraft. It'll be flying over the area later this evening. If they see our light, they know where to look for us. Well, let's just hope the neighbors light the sky with a f um, flashlight, because I do not have a torch. Yeah, let's let's just call it a torch. I like that. I like that more. It's, it's less less chance for me to screw up the word. Signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much uh, torch batteries cost? Especially in this economy. Especially after it was wiped out. Yes. Nobody thinks about that. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Um, good. Mary Jane. Oh, you still, still, still. My little foodie. My little foodie daughter. Okay. Let's hope this works out good for us. I am a little bit worried that we're now only going to get the event. Hey, hey, shine your sh shine your torch at us. Please, please, blinky, blinky lights. And that it never stops and the military won't come for us. It can't, the, the game kind of gets into this like repetitive loop where it's always telling me the same thing. So unless I find one, it might not look as good. We'll see, we'll see. All right, we're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects or worse. It's worse. They're spiders, not some miniature ones, but huge furry and creepy beasts. We got to do something about them. We're going to attack them with our bare hands, and hopefully Mary Jane gets bitten. <laughs> Exciting. Please? No. Aww. No luck this time. No luck this time. We decided we could rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't get them. We did not get them. Maybe we get the event again, but yeah. Unless... Unless we smash them and one bites Mary Jane. No, no luck. What is what Mary Jane needs most right now? Ted should drink something. No, stay 18. I know your body's better than you do. Mary Jane did not hear a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe, maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Sure. Honey, what's wrong? Tell, tell me, how was your day at school? That school blew up. Well, well, okay, how was, how was cheerleader practice? That the school blew up dead, and I also look at me. I'm not a cheerleader. I'm I'm the president of I don't know theater club. Yeah, but yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. I agree. Communication is the key to a healthy relationship. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Need to find her something to drink soon. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Let's give him some food and water tomorrow. We have a situation on our hands. There's a group approaching a shelter, and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into. Not at all. They look like they're out for blood. Or cans. Probably cans. This is a terrible time for humanity, and if canned soups are enough to turn us into monsters. Anyway, we need to defend ourselves. Can't use the rifle. Gotta use that axe. That axe. Yep. Also have no axe body spray. I have no idea where I went with this. Alright, some axe action was enough to send those cards running. Bet your ass they will be back. Yep. Mary Jane keeps fainting dead. Yeah, yeah, water. Right, I remember. I remember the thing. The liquid. The H2O. Remember that Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? When she got back, she had a wound on her forearm. Oh, the doctor. The doctor's in the house. Nothing serious, but she claimed it looked like something had beaten her. Now that injury is looking much worse. We fear it might be infected. We have to clean it up. Well, let's use the eggs. In chop of leg. This is how we do. This is how we do it. Oh, the axe is gone. Mary Jane is healthy. I like that. Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we brandished the axe. She tried to limp out of the bunker. Fortunately, she was too slow and we were able to explain our intentions before she ran off. Heating the axe's blade allowed us to clean the wound and stop it from festering. Now it's up to her immune system to fight off the infection. We had to break her axe to do it, but she's looking better today, so we're hopeful it was worth it. Very wonderful, and she's not even hurt. Ah, fantastic. Me and my doctor skills. She's just tired. If you got brandished by an axe, you would be tired too. Don't judge. Judgy Jason's out there. Uh, does anyone want food? No. Nobody. Nobody's worried. You should be worried. Fools. You should be. Run. All right. We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. That green liquid looked innocent enough, even after I ate through the table and the chair and the floor. Patching up that pipe is probably a good idea. Well, yes, probably. It's probably super toxic, and I don't know how, how we're going to fix it, but hey. It's pro that, that book is magical. I so want the book. You know what would be cool? A special edition of 60 seconds 
in something that looks like the Boy Scout Hard Book. And when you open it up, there's the game in there and maybe some other items. Huh. I, w I wonder what a special edition could look like. That would be cool. Maybe a little pancake figurine or it's actually a radio or something along those lines. I mean, you got any ideas? How a special day? I, I would love to see one of those. Anyway, Mary Jane's side could use a little food. Mary is pretty fatigued. Sure, sure, sure. You can have food. Ted is fine. Here you go. It's day 22. That's actually not too shabby. Um, expedition. Mary Jane can't go outside. She would die. So I'm just going to have to wait. Ah. They want to do this. Uh, the, the torch. They want us to use the torch again. I do not have a torch. I can't magically make one. I don't have magic torch capabilities unless the merry men come and decide to give us something. Ah, well. <clears throat> Where is water when Ted needs it? It's on the shelf, Ted. It's on the shelf. But you're not getting it. Because you've been asking. Ooh. Let's have a look. A woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel. Provided that camels have five legs. Don't judge. He's just very well hung. Okay, so four water bottles in exchange for one radio. Well, that tells you something about the worth of the radio. I'm not gonna trade in my water. I have plenty of water, and I think I need a radio more than that. If she had a flashlight, I would give her. I would give her water for a flashlight. That is how trading works. Not only one way. Otherwise, it's just an exchange, or it's just you know. I don't know. It seems doesn't seem like a proper trader if they don't take your stuff, and they only will give you water. I don't know. I guess it's trading. Just seems so simple-minded. All right, Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me, 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 me. The waste is full of surprises, like this man on the other side door knocking and claiming he's willing to offer for am decent ammunition. I do not have ammunition, dear man, and I would probably keep it for the doctor challenge, just to you know keep us. Well, not dying. Ted's stomach is rumbling. He looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink. And he will get a drink. Finally. I know. I know. But these are hard times, Ted. You need to understand. Let's listen to the radio. And see if we can find something. Shouldn't you guys, like, get, you know, thinner over time? I mean, it's nearly a month. And you're just eating soup. I doubt that will be your caloric intake for the whole day. You should be losing weight. Anyway. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it would stay that way. And Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, Ted, here is your foods. Um, yeah, I still can't send her out. I was hoping for that. Our first aid kit is of no use and we need to do something about it. For some bizarre reason, we believe we can use lethal box spray to produce some additional medicine. That would be amazing if you could do that in real life. And also kind of scary. Then again, I wonder how effective a box spray would be that you could use on you. Then again, chocolate is poisonous to dogs. So, might be good for us, but would kill the insects. Who knows? Anyway, combining American innovation and deadly box spray can result in just enough drugs to replenish an empty first aid kit. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble. Ted is not complaining. <clears throat> so we can just keep going and hope for events. <clears throat> there it goes again. Noises. Weird noises at all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? What? Is something behind the door? We don't know, but it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. Sadly, I do not have a anything for that matter. I have nothing. I have nothing to fight the craziness. Well, at least we didn't go crazy. Boredom them can get really to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places. Trust us. Mary Jane is quite hungry. And she wants water. Okay, Mary Jane, you can have some food. Oh, not you, Ted. Greedy, greedy man. Stop that. For an isolated fall shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn, and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor. And coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check what's going on. Hmm. Well, seems like since I don't have an axe or a torch, I can't check it out. Or are we going down? I don't know. Going into a tight dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises. Oh, we should should have been gone crazy with that. Usually that drives us crazy. Well, got lucky. <sighs> All right, uh, Mary Jane needs nothing. They both want water. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the day. See, that is what I've been talking about. The weird game gets into this weird repetitive thing where it's like, well, if you don't have a flashlight, if you don't have a torch, I'm not going to rescue you. <clears throat> So I'm just waiting for Mary Jane to hopefully get better to send her out scavenging and maybe bring us 
said Torch. Ooh, we've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is there was a zoo escape and animals are stampeding up there. I'm gonna send out Ted. Let's bring in some food, Ted. You better bring, bring in food. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Success. Mmm. Three cans of food. Because the donkey was carried away by a, what was it, giant eagle? A giant bird of prey swooped down and grabbed the eagle and flew away. And all that remained were a few cans of soup that fell out of the donkey's pack. Yes. Very good. Let me tell you this hungry. Well, we got plenty of food now. We got plenty of food now. Ooh, and Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Guess who I'm going to send scavenging? And let's deal with those <clears throat> silly cockroaches. Wait. What? How did that happen? How, how did dead not get enough water? 32 days. Yeah. That shouldn't have happened. That should not have happened, I feel. I... If, this is... Well, well then. Guess who failed the challenge? I failed the challenge. I've been doing it surprisingly well. Didn't, didn't I give him water? I gave him water. I, I did give him water. I don't know what's up with that. It's a little bit odd. I might have to check in um, the survivors for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. Uh, that was a fun challenge suggested by um, JK Heroic. I feel I didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to have to check the footage for that. But, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, uh, leave your suggestions for upcoming challenges in the comments below. If you like one that you see there, upload it, and the ones that are the most popular, I will give them a spin. Anyways, I'm Weasel, I'm out to see you around. Bye-bye!